My name is Jack Mon, and on behalf of the NDSU Athletics Department, I want to welcome you and thank you for attending our ribbon cutting today. Today we celebrate the new NODAC Insurance Company Football Performance Complex. Once fully completed next spring, and we'll get into that a little bit later, the nearly $54 million complex will be one of the best in all of college athletics. This complex, along with our, our once, already screwed up. I think it's because this thing's too high. It's hit me right between the eyes. I'm getting cross-eyed. <laughs> this complex, along with the Shelley Elig Indoor Track, the Sanford Health Athletic Plank Complex and Shield Center, the upgraded volleyball facilities in the Benson Bunker Fieldhouse, Theraldson Park Softball Stadium, the Terry Dahl and Donna Barris Outdoor Track Complex, and then the upgrades to the historic Dakota Field for women's soccer. Every program and every student athlete will be, affected, will be impacted by these new facilities. Added up, these facilities represent nearly $130 million investment in all of our facilities. All, the pri all privately funded, no state or university dollars were used for any of these projects. So thank you to you and all the people that are part of that. We can never thank you enough, um, and we really appreciate you being here today. Um, at this time, I'd like to recognize some, some select guests, the members of the State Board of Higher Education that are in attendance, uh, the state legislatures that are in attendance, members of the President's Cabinet, the Executive Governing Board of the NDSU Foundation, Missouri Valley Conference Commissioner Pabby, Patty Viverito, and our NDSU uh, students, staff, and coaches. So thank you so much for being here. We have some words to be spoken here today on behalf of the uh, university. The first speaker will be Dr. David Cook. He's the 15th president of North Dakota State University. Um, before joining NDSU, he was the vice chancellor for the Office of Public Affairs and Economic Development at the University of Kansas. He was previously the vice chancellor of KU Edwards campus in Overlib Park, Kansas. Dr. Cook also spent 14 years at the University of Kansas Medical Center, the, seven, the final seven years as a member of the leadership cabinet. He earned his bachelor's degree at Iowa State University and his master's and doctoral degrees from the University of Kansas, Kansas Dr. David Cook. Now, Jack, I don't think there's anything wrong with this microphone, I just gotta say. <laughs> No. Th thank you for the very, the very nice uh, introduction. And, and truly, the guy who just did the introduction is one of the people who was the mastermind behind that amazing uh, fundraising effort that he just mentioned. So I think we should give him a round of applause as well. So, so I have to admit, I'm, I'm a little speechless. You just kind of walk in here and it just takes your breath away. This is absolutely unbelievable. First class, uh, world class. Uh, we are so grateful for all of you, for your commitment, for your love of this institution and of the Bison. Uh, it is just truly a one of a kind uh, opportunity, situation, community, uh, nation that gets behind something like this. And I feel very fortunate to be the new guy who's walking in the room, who gets to stand up in front of all of you and, and say thank you. And so I'm, I'm really blessed to be here today and to be able to do that. So the last time I was here, I had a hard hat on and this thing was about halfway done. And the way I remember it anyway was the conversation with the architects and all the rest was this thing was bigger and better than what the Vikings have. And so I, if you're a Viking fan or not, and I, there might be a little hyperbole in that, but if you're a Viking fan or not, that's pretty darn cool. So you gotta, gotta kinda love it. So, uh, so like I said before, very proud to, to be walking in here, walking into such an amazing uh, tradition 
uh, of winning. Jack gave you my bio, so I went to Iowa State, I went to the University of Kansas. I can tell you people down there know who the Bison are, so for all the historians in the room, I think you might know what I'm, what I'm talking about there, but it speaks to what athletics does for higher education and institutions of higher education. It, it's, it's about a brand, it's about a reputation, it's about pride, and people know who we are throughout the Midwest. And that's for a lot of reasons, but athletics is at the, the top of the list. And so uh, if there's any doubt, uh, believe me, the importance and values of athletics at NDSU is just right at the top of the list. And I'm proud to, to be walking into a situation with such a uh, historic uh, tradition that's been going on for, for uh, generations and uh, for generations. And so for that, I want to say thank you to the administration uh, and for, for everybody here. And so winning is incredibly important. It's at the top of the list. I get that. Uh, I remember during the interview talking with some of you out here about how much pride you have in this athletic program. And the thing that kept coming up over and over again was this phrase, phrase student athlete and we recruit character kids. And I gotta tell you, uh, I was excited about that because I love winning, but I love the vision of what student athletes are all about. And then I got here and I got to know the program, got to see and meet the student athletes, and it is absolutely true. This place is dedicated to recruiting these character kids, these student athletes, the student athlete comes first. The winning's pretty cool too, don't get me wrong, but I'm very proud to be part of that, uh, and I think you all should be too. And so I, I just wanna close by, by saying that we're incredibly grateful for this gift and for the contribution and for the generosity of all of you, for what it does with this facility, what it does for the institution, uh, but ultimately what it's gonna do for generations of these student athletes who are gonna continue to excel uh, for generations moving forward because of these gifts. And for that, I'm incredibly grateful. And I just wanna say thank you to all of you and go Bison. Thank you, Dr. Cook. Entering his ninth year almost to the day, and boy, that went quick as someone who works with him. Um, as the leader of the athletics department, Matt Larsis had been focused on investments. In addition to the 130 million invested in our facilities um, that we mentioned earlier, uh, Matt has invested in a lot of other areas. Matt has invested in scholarships to fully fund all scholarships for all sports to the maximum limits of the NCAA. He has invested in the cost of attendance for every student athlete scholarship uh, winner. He's also grown our athletic department budget from 18.5 million to over 25 million and keeps growing. It's very important that I did not forget Matt today because if you were at the Shack and Shield Center opening, the MC that day skipped him. So this is a major hurdle that he gets introduced today. Matt Larson. That is a true story, by the way. Um, and no, today actually is day one of my ninth year here at NDSU. And working with all of you folks, it feels like I've been here for nine months sometimes. Everything's been great. Working with Jack sometimes, it feels like I've been here for 900 years. So. <laughs> You can all appreciate that, but no, sincerely thanks, Jack, for, for all of your uh, contributions to this. Uh, but good afternoon. What an exciting day for NDSU and Bison Athletics. You know, I have to be honest, I, I think for the last 14 months since this project started construction, I drive in every day, I park right across the street. I've had a huge smile on my face as I've watched this project rise from the ground, and, and we stand here today with a completed phase one of the NODAC Insurance Company Football Performance Complex, and, and wow, it's, it's absolutely spectacular. You know, to think six years ago, about six and a half years ago is, is where the concept of this facility came about, and you know, it's, it seems like a really long time ago, but the journey to get here, to see the looks on our student athletes' faces, to see the looks on our coaches' faces, makes every single one of those years 100% worth it. Um, and so to see this dream, reality, uh, dream facility become a reality is really exciting. But I, I think that speaks to the power of NDSU, the power of Bison Athletics, and the power of Bison Nation. You know, in college athletics to be successful, you need to have a vision, you need to have consistent belief and support both internally and from your external community. 
as well as a foundation built on tradition. Well, the same can be said about this project. From day one, Jim Alexander and the board of directors from Nodak Insurance Company saw the vision of what this facility could be and the transformational impact it would have on Bison Athletics. Without their early support, this project would not have been possible. Jim, a sincere thank you for your support of our overall athletics program and specific, specifically this project. Great Midwest organizations have a culture of giving back and supporting the communities they serve. Shields, Sanford Health, and Gate City Bank are great examples of, con of their consistent belief in NDSU and Bison Athletics. Their collective support and impact is seen and felt throughout our program. Steve and Eileen Shield and, and Shields All Sport, Tiffany Lawrence, Mike Erickson, and the team at Sanford Health, Kevin Hansen, and Steve Swantek from Gate City Bank. Thank you, thank you for your longstanding commitment to uh, NDSU, your belief in NDSU, and of course for your generous support of this facility. The foundation of any successful program is people. Our great history and tradition has been possible due to the contributions and accomplishments of our student athletes, our coaches, our alumni, and our fans. A sincere and heartfelt thank you to the Hanson family, Terry and Susan, the Yagi family, Bob, Bruce, and Brady, the Blattner family, Tom and Dawn, and the Team Acres Board of Directors and all our members. Your legacy of support has had an incredible impact on Bison Athletics today and the Bison Athletics of our future. In all, over 200 individuals and corporate sponsors came together with their belief in Bison Athletics and have made this tremendous facility, both phase one and phase two, a reality. Please join me in a round of applause and thanks for these generous supporters. In addition to our donors, there's a long list of people who deserve thanks for their contributions, their tireless efforts in bringing this project with the scope and the magnitude to completion. So please bear with me a little bit as I want to go through and thank all the people who have contributed on so many different levels. Our architects, Steve Skoblik and Bob Ames from Foss Architecture Interiors here in Fargo, David Murphy and Doug Osborne from Crawford Architects in Kansas City, our primary contractors, Dan Walter, Brandon Larkin, and the rest of the team from Krauss Anderson, our primary subcontractors, Rick Electric and Peterson Mechanical, from campus facilities, Mike Ellingson, Brent DeCray, and Justin Miller. The NDSU Foundation Executive Governing Board and Finance Committee. And finally, from our Department of Athletic staff, Todd Phelps, Scott Walken, Jack Mon, Derek Lang, and many others, including our head coaches and staff who have contributed to making today possible. Please join me in a round of applause and thanks for these instrumental people. Anytime you build a facility, you have to ask, what's the purpose? What's the why of this facility? Today's weather points to the obvious reason, and given our climate, a year-round indoor facility is not a want, but a necessity. But in my opinion, the impact of this facility goes way beyond weather. When I look at the 12 young men and women on stage here that represent the teams that will benefit from this new facility, football, baseball, softball, men's golf, women's golf, women's soccer, and the rest of our 425 student athletes. I think of the impact this facility will have on their training, will have on their development, and the overall ability to be successful at NDSU. The impact this facility will have on the future of Bison Athletics, our coaches' ability to recruit to this facility. There are very few complex in Division I athletics that will rival the Nodak Insurance Company football performance complex. And finally, with the ever-changing landscape of college athletics, this facility, along with other significant investments in infrastructure, staffing, operations, has NDSU athletics well positioned for the future. So student athletes and coaches, welcome to your new home. Thanks again to everyone who made today possible, and go Bison. Thank you, Matt. So much better than his last one. <laughs> he did that last one a little angry. I don't know where, where that came from. Now it's my pleasure to 
introduce Jim Alexander, the president and CEO of Nodak Insurance Company. Jim joined the Nodak Insurance Company in 2003, was named the CEO in 2005. Since, since being named CEO, Jim has led a transition from a single state mutual insurance company to a multi-state publicly traded insurance holding company writing approximately $400 million of premiums across the country. Jim and his wife, Amy, uh, uh, their oldest son lives, uh, live in Fargo. Their oldest son, Cole, was a 2019 graduate from the NDSU Architectural School. Their son, Mitchell, recently graduated from Indiana University. Jim Alexander. You did well. Thank you, Jack, for that kind introduction and, and uh, welcome everybody here today. I'd like to take a few minutes to recognize uh, Nodak Insurance Company Board of Directors and the Nodak Insurance Company staff that are here in the audience. When I uh, recognize you, if you please stand um, and we can hold our applause to after I finish, please. Eric Osmostad and his wife, Corinne. Bill Devlin and his wife, Margie. Dwayne Espigard and his wife, Phyllis. Steve Marlowe and his wife, Sharon. And Jeff Missling. Uh, Jeff's wife Amy was not able to attend today. If you give them a round of applause for all their support and everything to make this happen. Also, I'd ask the NODAC Insurance Company staff that's here if they'd stand up and be recognized as well, because as you all know, um, and as many people have said, it, you know, it certainly takes a village to get something done. And without all these fine people, without a great board of directors, you know, none of this happens. You know, a Modak Insurance Company is truly fortunate to have our name on the side of this magnificent football performance complex. There are many other individuals and businesses, many of whom Matt, Jack, and others have mentioned today, that have come together to make this a reality. Part of our company's mission statement speaks to giving back to the communities that we live and work in. It's also important that our community partners represent and have standards that are similar to our own organization. So when the opportunity came to partner with NDSU in building the NODAC Insurance Company Football Performance Complex, the answer was easy. Who wouldn't want to partner with a nine-time FCS championship football program? A university and athletic program that prides itself on excellence. A university that focuses its investment and its efforts within the state of North Dakota and whose roots lay in agriculture, similar to our own organization. This building with Nodak Insurance Company's name on the side will be here beyond many of our lifetimes, providing coaches and athletes the year-round opportunity to excel at their craft and will be a source of pride for our board our agents and employees, the community, and the state. In closing, I want to thank the NDSU administration, especially Matt Larson, Todd Phelps, Jack Mon, and all the other NDSU staff and coaches who worked diligently to make this a reality. I also want to thank NODAC Insurance Company Board of Directors, who provided unwavering support of this partnership. And finally, I want to thank Joe Welsh from our staff, our VP of Marketing and Public Relations, who worked closely with the NSU staff to ensure that all the I's were dotted and the T's were crossed and we could bring this thing to reality. Thank you very much. Representing the student athletes that will be utilizing this, everyone will but their particular programs that will get a little more. But representing students will be Paige Goley. Paige is a junior forward on the women's soccer team from South St. Paul, Minnesota. She's a marketing major who has earned academic honors for the Summit League uh, Commissioner's List in Academic Excellence and the Summit League Honor Roll. Paige Goley. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Paige Goley, and I'm one of the captains of the soccer team. And I'm extremely honored to speak on behalf of our NDSU student athletes today. 
Thank you for coming here as we take part in showcasing this amazing state-of-the-art addition to the Bison Athletic Facilities. This is a great day for NDSU and our athletic program as we share in the grand opening of the new NODAC Insurance Football Performance Complex. Being a student athlete in Fargo, there is an obvious need for indoor training facilities during the winter months. Even though all of our teams have experienced several practices and games outside in the snow, it is only bearable for so long. In the past, athletes have logged countless hours in the current Dakota Field practice bubble. There have been many football and golf practices, softball and baseball scrimmages, and even an entire spring COVID soccer season. Our team schedules were coordinated to maximize our indoor time and it was put to good use for years. These indoor facilities have a great impact on the performance and success of all of our athletic teams. The NODAC Insurance Performance Complex is going to enhance the development of our sports teams throughout the entire year. The new turf, the larger field area, the weight room, and more are top tier additions that will elevate the ability of our athletic teams to train and perform. NDSU Athletics prioritizes updating and renovating our facilities, which helps us get ahead on competition. This facility will be immediately impactful for us current student athletes and future recruits to come. There are many inspirational quotes here at NDSU that are great reminders for us student athletes about being in Bison and what privileges we have. The one that comes to mind today is a quote up in our soccer room, locker room, which states, entitled to nothing, grateful for everything. Today's excellent example of this, and I'm here to tell you are, all how grateful we are, how excited we are, and how supported we feel by you all for the addition of this new performance center. We know that at NDSU we have a large group of supporters and fans that contribute to providing all of us athletes the best experience. On behalf of all of us Bison athletes, I would like to end by thanking the NODAC Insurance Company, the many, many other donors, staff, and workers. This is only possible with your generous support of the university and our athletic programs. From the moment you step foot on our campus, it is clear that Bison Nation is a special community. In my short time here, there have been so much contribution for the growth and development of NDSU. This celebration of the grand opening is another example of how much we can accomplish all together. Another thank you again to everyone who made today possible, and as always, Go Bison. Thank you, Paige. Spencer, you want to add anything to that or you're good? I thought you nailed it too. Spencer and I have a lot in common, size. So. Next up, Matt Entz. Matt Entz was named the head football coach in North Dakota State for the 2019 season after spending five seasons as NDSU's defensive coordinator. He's been part of seven Missouri Valley Conference championships and six FCS national championships. As head coach, Matt has guided the Bison to two Missouri Valley Conference championships and two FCS national championships with the Bison. He entered the 2022 season with a record of 37 and four overall and 20 and three in the Missouri Valley. He was named the FCS Coach of the Year in 2019 and again in 2020 and 2021 by the American Football Coaches Association. Head Coach Matt Entz. I appreciate the opportunity to be here with you and uh, I appreciate the, everyone who's helped support this facility and make it what it is today. Almost 60 years ago, Daryl Mudra was hired to be the head football coach here at NDSU. 60 years ago, the process started to reshape the athletic department with the help of guys like Buck Nystrom, uh, Dennis Isro. Three years later, the first national championship was won in 1965. Since that time, our athletic department, all of our sports have continued to grow. The faces have changed. The teams have changed, teams have been added. Facilities now are changing. So playing 
facilities have changed. Dakota Field is no longer now a practice field in the soccer field. Football used to practice where the current Fargo Dome sits. 1990 football bust to Cardinal Minch to practice as the on-campus facilities were prepared. All while maintaining Coach Mudra and his early staff's vision of being the toughest team, being the most well-conditioned team, being all about bison pride, and being all about your teammates. Fast forward 2014. I first get here, the bubble is what we're doing. We were on the cutting edge. A couple million dollars, we're gonna have an indoor facility for all of our sports to utilize. The bubble, as it was called. This facility housed practice for football, soccer, track and field, baseball, softball, and men's and women's golf, besides numerous other activities, community-led, campus-led, it was the busiest facility on campus. Some, some great memories I have, and I'll probably be forgetting them soon, but in 2019, we were out on what was current, this area right here, Gate City Practice Fields, end of, end of November, Mother Nature's not allowing the bubble to go up because of wind and snow. Dave Jones and his crew were over there putting it up. And if you've ever seen the flag at Perkins, that's what the bubble looked like at that time because the wind was blowing about 40 miles an hour. You know, there's been other times during the spring, waking up every morning and calling Todd Phelps, Scott Walken, hey, is the bubble still up? It was windy and we got five inches of snow last night. Or the best one is when I knew it was time for us to be done practicing is when Coach Kennedy and Coach Johnson's golf team started hitting balls over us in the morning. So like I said, the busiest facility on campus. Around the time I became head football coach, the energy, the excitement of this facility and the vision of this facility started to become reality. Some people probably still thought it was a dream. Why does an FCS program need something like this? Why does a, a university need to put their money into this type of facility? Well, the people behind me are why we need to do something like this. Hundreds of people have been involved in, in, in the creation of this vision and, and the construction of this facility. Alumni, former players, supporters, friends of the program, best friends of former players, and local business leaders. Many of these people are here with us today, and this may be the only time they're ever in this facility. But they didn't build this facility for themselves. They built it because of the tremendous young men and women who attend and have participated in intercollegiate athletics at NDSU. This facility is a great example of Bison Pride. This facility was about the team. This facility was about the Bison. What you see today is a facility that will provide long-lasting, year-round development for all of our student-athletes. It'll provide a recruiting tool for every single sport on campus. As the landscape of Division I athletics continues to evolve and change, it will allow NDSU athletics to stay up and, and keep pace with other universities. But most importantly, it's going to allow NDSU athletics to continue the tradition, the, the tradition of excellence. So three, three weeks ago, Dr. Mudra passed away. I wonder what he would say today. I'm sure he's smiling with Bucky and Dr. Israel. What an unbelievable opportunity we have here. Thank you to everyone. And if you're not making noise tomorrow, you're wrong. Go Bison. Thanks, Matt. At this time, we'll do the formal ribbon cutting. So if the people that are so designated, if you could make your way over to the ribbon area. After, the, after this is done, please feel free to walk through. There's some different areas that our staff will be located. We've got photos along the renderings around the building. You'll see what it is today and what it's going to be in the future. We look forward to having something similar to this in uh, next spring. So once again, after the ribbon cutting, feel free to walk through. And again, thanks for coming out today. 
and go Bison.